Hey guys, I'm Dubai's Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about screen burning. Now, screen burning is something that could affect your OLED display iPhone in the future. And I wanted to talk about how to prevent it, what are the costs, and at my experience so far with my oldest OLED display iPhone and the iPhone 10 that you see on the left here. Now this iPhone 10, I've used it since its original launch on November of 2017. It's about two years old and I've used it for about a year and a half so far on and off. This is sort of like my secondary device that I come back to for jailbreak tweaks and things like that. So I'm constantly using it. Although my primary device is the iPhone 11 Pro Max right now, has been used for quite some time. Now I also do some battery testing here and that all ties together as into why me myself I've experienced some uh, somewhat of a screen burning and I want to show you here on this device now before we continue I did wanted to give you some information for those of you that may see this sign here if you ever see this on your iPhone so important display message unable to verify your iPhone has a genuine Apple display this is something that you can check going to settings general and about this message shows up here that means you don't have a genuine display if you're looking to buy a secondary or second hand device do not purchase it if you see that message because obviously it's not a genuine apple display and it tends to uh, not perform as well so let's head on over to the photos application here and both of these devices again this is the iphone 10 this is the iphone 10s i'm sure you can see the difference on the display i can see on this one here sort of a ghosting effect sort of like a darker shade of white and both of these devices do have the exact same settings. So if we go here to display and brightness, the brightness is pretty much identical. Uh, auto brightness has been disabled on both of these. Uh, True tone is turned off and night shift is off as well. And if we go to accessibilities, and this is just to show you on the display and text, we don't have any filters turned on. So exact same settings. And again, auto brightness is turned off. So both of these display essentially should look exactly the same, but I'm pretty sure you can tell the difference here in color temperatures. And again, I can tell the ghosting effect that would cause, that is caused most likely by screen burning. Now this is an image here that I obtained from an iPhone in Walmart. So you can see some of the icons actually burned into the display. This happens often when you leave your iPhone with the brightness up completely, anywhere from 80 to 100 most of the time. And here on this channel, of course, due to the nature of what I do, I do a lot of battery testing. So the brightness is always on, the display is always on when I do those tests for long hours, eight to nine hours in some cases. And that could cause screen burning. And it looks like that has been affecting this iPhone 10 here. But this doesn't happen so often because Apple and other manufacturers do have software techniques and hardware techniques to prevent this. For example, these two devices do have Samsung displays, but Apple software shifts the pixels so that this doesn't happen uh, as easily. But you can tell that it has happened on this iPhone 10. And even if I go into dark mode here, you can see that even the dark colors do not look as dark as the iPhone XS on the right. How to prevent it? Well, very simple. Make sure you don't keep your iPhone's display at a peak brightness for the most part. Try to keep auto brightness turned on. Now, me, for example, I do videos on YouTube, so I constantly have auto brightness turned off. So right here it is, auto brightness. It is constantly turned off because I like to keep the exact same brightness throughout the video for video quality purposes. But I would recommend keeping the brightness at a certain level every time. If you want to keep it at a 60 or below, just keep auto brightness. Do not keep it at full capacity all the time or this could occur on an OLED display. Now OLED displays are found on iPhone 10, iPhone 10s, iPhone 10s Max, iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro. Now again, this doesn't happen often, but if you are experiencing these issues, I highly recommend uh, keeping an eye on it because eventually it could get worse and you may have to replace your iPhone's display. So there you guys have it. This is a quick video on how to prevent screen burning, what it looks like in comparison to non-screen burn uh, OLED displays. Let me know what you think. Have you experienced this before? Thank you for watching and I'll see you real soon. Peace.